Hi, I'm Andy Jones, Content Editor for Plaid's online education program, Let's Paint. And today, we're going to unlock the mysteries of fly specking, those cute little spatters that you see on lots of painted projects. All right, I'm going to share some secrets with you. Uh, how to do some nice fly specking, which is some of the little spatters that you see in some paintings. Um, it's not difficult, but there are some things to keep in mind so that you don't make a mess and mess up your painting at the end of a successful job. All right, so I'm going to move these paintings out of the way so that we have plenty of space to work. And fly specking is a just a little spattering of paint. Um, it originally was done to mimic the marks that flies would leave on furniture. So I'm just going to use some ultramarine blue, regular folk art acrylic. I'm going to use a toothbrush, one that you don't want to use in your mouth anymore. And for the first way I'm going to show you how to do it, we're simply going to use some water. So I'm going to dip my toothbrush into water and I'm going to come onto my wax coated palette. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the ultramarine blue and I'm going to thin down the blue paint. Now, before I would spatter onto a project, the first thing you need to do is a little test run. So I'm going to just use a paper towel as a test surface and I'm going to aim the bristles of the toothbrush toward the surface. It's important that you do that. The next thing that's important is that you're going to pull your index finger on the bristles toward you. If you flick away, it's going to spatter you and you're not going to be happy. So with the bristles down, I'm going to pull the, um, my finger toward me and you can see that I am spattering the paper towel. If you get paint on your finger, you can just wipe it off or wash it off. It's not going to hurt you. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the size of the little specks of paint. If your paint is not terribly thin and you don't have too much on your brush, you're going to get some large ones and some small ones, and you're going to be able to create a nice amount of spatters. If your paint is too thin and you have a lot of it on your brush when you spatter, you're going to get big blobs like that which are not going to be terribly attractive. So you need to spatter some of the paint off of the toothbrush and then you can create um, a nicer uh, effect of the fly specking. So moving on to a nice clean surface here. If this were the corner of a uh, uh, surface that I'd painted a design on, I might want to concentrate some of my fly specking down on the corner. And you can do this slowly. It's not a matter of just zipping your finger across the bristles. A slow, steady control will let you concentrate some of the spatters in an area so that you get a nice gradation of spatters. There's, there's an art to this. It's not just a last minute addition of some splats of paint on your project. Uh, if you have a design, you can come near your design and you can control how your spatters look. So again, this is just using water on a toothbrush and thinning down acrylic paint and you can get some lovely spatter designs like that. The other thing that you can use is Folk Art Blending Gel Medium. And I'm just going to squirt some of that out on my palette. And I'm going to take my toothbrush. I'm going to pick up some blending gel and some thinned blue paint. And what the blending gel does is it stops your paint from bleeding on you. So again, test on my palette to make sure that it's going to come off beautifully. And then to demonstrate this over here on a clean surface for you, again, bristles pointing downward, pulling your index finger toward you, and you get beautiful spatters. And these won't run or bleed because the blending gel 
kind of holds the paint in suspension for you. So to recap, you want to use a toothbrush. It's the best spattering tool that's ever been done. You want to hold the bristles pointing toward the surface that you want to spatter, and you want to pull your index finger toward you so the paint spatters off the toothbrush, away from you, and onto your surface. You can, the thinner your paint is, the larger your specks will be. The drier your paint is, the thinner and finer some of the specks will be. It adds a tremendous amount to a finished painting to have some little spatters on there, and you can do them in a color that relates to the design that you've painted. Uh, if you've painted a design of oranges, you might try a nice rusty color spatter in there, or if you've painted pink roses, you could do some true burgundy colored spatters. Um, just always practice on a paper towel to make sure that you're not gonna have runs and drips fall onto your surface. So those are my helpful hints for fly specking.